go. Nine on one, Shelby Drive, look alive, look alive. Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side. Oh well, fuck them, dawg. We gon' see how hard they ride. I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys. We up on the other Um, I don't actually know where I am. I'm not actually in Stuttgart. I'm just outside of Stuttgart. But, um, this is the view. Um, I have a lot of work I need to do. And it's a bit of a concern because... I don't work, I don't make money, if I don't make money, I can't do this travel thing. Um, so that's the one difficulty with all this travel stuff, it's actually having the discipline to continuously do work, every day or every second day. So far, I've, I've worked, but not enough. So today's about work, and I need to plan the rest of my trip, I've got about, I plan the next day, next 24 hours, but after that, I don't know what country I'm in, where I'm getting to wherever, Nothing, so I need to plan that. Quick out there on the new photography business front, just had another person send it's like 20 euro. So that's about 20 euro or so. Um, so yeah, total is like 30 euro, one day's work, new business, pretty good. Alright, so I just bought my bus to Zurich, Switzerland and booking an Airbnb. Surprisingly, the Airbnbs are cheaper than hostels. Uh, the photography business thing, quick update again. Uh, I posted to another group in Zurich and it's going pretty well. I had a few people say, yeah, sweet. So that's a few more people that are potential customers and gonna do the same thing when I go to Zurich in a few days. Good. I, I'm like, I'm stinky, I need to shave. I need breakfast, so we're we'll taking action on all those problems. Right now we are going into Stuttgart, getting breakfast. We're gonna work from Stuttgart. Drizzy, get the loot. Pull, pull, pull up with that drink. I'm playing with Drake and I'm a suit. My, my, my weapon be the instrument. I blow you like a flute. Nigga, nigga, nigga play, so he feeling it. Pull, pull up, broad day with the K. Drop a nigga like he littering. We at the door like we the delivering. He not a pub, he middle man. That, that nigga brown like cinnamon. Alright, we just got back in uh, Stuttgart and uh, we're gonna work from the city today. And it's warmer today, which is good. Much better. Ah. Hi, hi! Hey, buddy. <laughs> to go outside and I spit it with the guys we up on the other side niggas acting like we all right so since starting this vlogging thing all the good things have happened actually um, a small thing happened yesterday where I was just vlogging in the, in the park just in front of uh, where we're having coffee now and um, did my vlog thing about the hate to see note stuff and there was a guy sitting one bench away and he's like I overheard you doing this stuff it sounded pretty interesting um, he was an entrepreneur as well. Uh, after like five seconds, he was like, fuck it, let's go get a coffee. Sat down, talked for half an hour. He's into web development, has an agency in, uh, in San Francisco, expanded to Germany. It was awesome to talk to uh, and network with someone out of nowhere. All right, we are now at the, how do you say? Just lost. We're now in Stuttgart and uh, I'm eating a waffle and a pretzel and it's delicious. And we're gonna work from this cafe, it's got free internet, so we're gonna be here for a while. Yeah. Alright, so I'm uh, properly lost in Stuttgart, which is just fabulous. Um, on my way around, got a bit of work done, which is nice. You need a lot of good feedback from uh, from people watching the vlog and stuff, so thanks for that. It does help out. I do generally feel like a retard holding this huge camera set up, walking around the city, people staring at me and stuff. But great feedback. I'm learning shit, so can't complain. Ladies. I am eating bratwurst now. Delicious. I just want to talk about 
Okay, I'm gonna do uh, like a bit of a segment every few days or one day a week or something. I'm talking about history. I love history and, and I'm traveling Europe with heaps of history around and there's always interesting shit. So um, this one German military and political figure, which most people don't know about, called Frederick the Great. So he was around, I think, 17, 1800s. His father was the king of Prussia. Prussia wasn't that big uh, at this time, but he reformed the military, brought it into the, uh, the New Age, ahead of you know, everyone else in Europe. Um, fought a few wars uh, and reformed Prussia like crazy. And Frederick the Great came along, um, wasn't as uh, authoritarian as his dad. Um, but he was also, you know, was a poet. He played the flute, which was like cool and weird, but um, yeah, he wanted, you know, a uh, bigger Prussia or whatever. He uh, basically unified Germany to a lot of the, not exactly, but a lot of the states, put a lot of German states together, uh, fought wars with like Russia, Pr uh, Austria, the French, heaps of people, and generally won, did pretty well. Um, but he was a poet too, so there was this, there's this uh, mix between this guy who's an authoritarian, you know, great military general, and then this uh, uh, guy plays the flute, writes poems, is like hugely in love with his wife and writes really love letters to him and stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, of course not. I mean, it's fine if that's who you are. Absolutely. I mean, I have many gay friends. My father's gay. Look, I... Um, it was an interesting character to say the least. I am leaving Stuttgart now to go to Tübingen, a small town. I'm going to do some work there. Did some work here with my mate. Um, that was Nikolai. Spent a day, a few days with him. He stayed at his place yesterday. I had to say goodbye to him because I'm leaving. It's kind of sad. I feel like that scene from Into the Wild. Good, great meeting him and a few other boys here. And girls here too. It was good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go work into Wigan now. <laughs> in this train station, main station in Stuttgart, you have to pay to use private toilets. What the fuck? 